All right, Panther fans. So we got a little bit of minor, minor breaking news, or at least news-ish, something. We've got something. So what do we got? So I'm sitting here. It's Friday afternoon. It's Friday evening. I'm in the process of getting relaxed. Okay, let's just leave it at that. And my good friend, supporter, fan, buddy, Bud the Monkey, tags me to something on the Discord. And sure enough, wouldn't you know it, here's the tweet from our good friend, Frank Saravalli. Once Zoom lets me minimize, there we go. All right. He says, he's hearing the Florida Panthers have been active interviewing head coach candidates, including Peter DeBoer, Travis Green, Rick Tockett, Barry Trotz, and potentially Paul Maurice. That's while the Jack Adams runner-up and interim coach Andrew Burnett still awaits word on his fate. Half of that tweet is true, and in my opinion, the other half is not true. If we are interviewing DeBoer, Green, Rick Tockett, if we're interviewing those guys, I have a feeling that Andrew Burnett has already been made aware of his fate. So. Let's talk about this a little bit. Now, for me, I think it's obvious, right? The initial response from everybody is going to be basically, yeah, it's trots or nothing, right? Now, I'm not interested at all in Travis Green and Rick Tockett unless, unless what the team is doing is interviewing guys. There could be two reasons here. You could be looking at head coach interviews, but you could also be looking at guys that maybe they're interviewing to possibly be assistants if something falls through and they're going to keep brunette. Now, you remember, I thought about this with the trots thing in an earlier video. I said, you know, you're probably just hanging on to Andrew saying, hey, look, we want trots, but if we don't get the guy we want, we're going to keep you. And he seems like the kind of guy that wouldn't get upset about that. It's also possible that because they're making him wait so long, the possibility exists that maybe the team is saying, don't worry, Andrew, whoever we bring in, we're going to tell them you get to stay because, you know, the coaching vacancies so far have been getting filled. He's not really getting a chance to interview for any of those positions. So that could be happening. So the fact that they're interviewing people, though, for me, I like it. I like it. I like it. Now, Barry Trotz. Now, we know it's been said that he turned down $7 million from the Flyers to coach the Flyers. So either he really, 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 really did not want to coach in Philadelphia, which is probably it. Or, um, or Vinny Viola and Doug Sifu better grab their wallets. <laughs> I hope the seven million offer from Philadelphia wasn't turned down because it wasn't enough money. Hopefully, that's not it. Now, I had a friend of mine say that he had heard that um, part of the thing with Trotz is that he's wanting to take a position that might lead to to some upward mobility. In the future, um, I kind of like Bill Zito in that position, so I don't know how that exactly would work out, but I'm not so sure I would want to tell Trotz completely no, so there may be some, some room there. But looking at the guys that we've interviewed here, or at least supposedly interviewed, Travis Green, Rick Tockett, nice guys, but those are assistant coach material, right? They haven't had a whole lot of, you know, they haven't had a whole lot of success anywhere. I'm going to pull up their pages now. I'm just going through their NHL stuff. Travis Green was with Vancouver for, what's that, four years plus 25 games, made the playoffs once. The highest finish was fourth place. That's not a guy you're going to get rid of Brunette for, in my opinion. Rick Tockett was with Tampa Bay for a couple of seasons, didn't do so well. Then he was with Arizona for four seasons, 
made the playoffs once, finished third with Tampa Bay once, and the highest finish that they had with Arizona was in fourth place. The fifth place finish, uh, that was in the 1920 season. So that was with the play-ins and everything. Now, Paul Maurice is supposedly a maybe on the interview thing. He obviously has a ton of experience. He's got years and years. It's interesting because you've got all these years with the Carolina Hurricanes, a couple of years with Toronto, four more with Carolina, and then a bunch here with Winnipeg. There's playoff records all over the place. Obviously, from what you know, they, they, he's got the playoff experience. Let's just put it that way. So that's an interesting possibility there. I don't, I don't completely know that I would disagree with that. But again, we don't know exactly what Zito was looking for. I, with, with Maurice, I'm not so sure that's one of those guys where you think assistant. I think that's a genuine interview. And then, of course, our good friend Peter DeBoer, who was the Florida Panthers coach from 2008 to 2011, had three seasons, didn't make the playoffs with us, and, of course, was Eastern Conference Finals or Eastern Conference Champions with the Devils in 12 and Western Conference Champions with San Jose in 16. And he's got a pretty good playoff record, obviously, with a couple trips to the finals and some first-place finishes with Vegas before being dismissed this season or at the end of the season. So, and then, of course, we've got Trots, and we know how most of us feel about Trots. I like the fact that we're doing this. This this is good. It's about time we had a little bit of information, a little bit of news. It, I think it went on a little bit while, but I kind of mentioned in the last video, I said whatever the Panthers were doing, they were doing it under lock and key, and there were no leaks. Obviously, the team wanted this information out now, but that's a lot of interviews that went down with nobody even knowing anything. I I, I actually I'm actually a fan of that because it cuts down on the unnecessary rumors. And when we get information, it's usually good information. So I like it. Question I have is trots. What do you need, man? What do you want? I'll get, I'll get a, I'll get a trots puppet. Will that do it? I know. And I think it was in Winnipeg. They offered him free beer. I, I'll, I'll get a trots puppet. Now, some of you might think that that's not a positive <laughs> <laughs> whatever you want, Trots, we'll, we'll give you whatever you want, all right? If I ever move back down there, free massages, okay? That's what I have to offer. I like it. I like it. I like it. I, I know at the beginning of the video I said I think Brunette already knows his fate, but I don't necessarily think that that guarantees that he's gone. They may be trying to sell. I said this in the previous video. Maybe they're asking, you know, trots, some of these guys, hey, look, can 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 we keep Brunette around for continuity? Like I said, we've had five coaches in the last six years. This would make six if we hired somebody new. So the list of names, I'm 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 good with, especially if we're looking at some of these guys. I wouldn't mind having, you know, a Rick Tockett as one of our assistants. I, I'd love to see that, all right? I would absolutely love to see a guy like him as one of our assistants. Paul Maurice, he's probably looking just for a head coaching job, obviously, and he may be the fallback position to Barry Trotz. Peter DeBoer, uh, you know, I'm not so sure. Look, if, if you, Vegas, the couple of years they went and they had a good team there, if you... If you can't win a cup with that roster at that time with Flurry and everything, you know, he's got the playoff experience. Can he is he is he a guy that's gonna get us over the hump? Is he a guy worth getting rid of Brunette? If we're gonna get DeBoer, I would I would I wouldn't I wouldn't mind keeping Brunette for continuity. I don't know. DeBoer just seems like a all right, we made a move for the sake of making a move thing, right? You know, for me, if I'm, if you're, if I'm looking at a hundred percent opinion, like where I'm a hundred percent good with it, Trotz is the guy after that, if we get a DeBoer or a Maurice, okay, you know, all right, not bad, 
not outstanding. And then any of these other guys with Travis Green, um, Rick Tockett. Rick Tockett, I wouldn't mind being an assistant, right? Give me trots and then Tockett as an assistant. Bring in a guy that's going to be the power play specialist, you know, power play coach. I like it. So, all right. That was it, short and sweet. I just wanted to give you all an update because Bud was keeping me updated. I am going to return to my leisurely Friday night activities. It figures, and I'm not complaining too. I love it. I had finally decided to take a day off and the Panthers, at least they did something, right? It's actually probably what happened was the, the guys were looking and say, hey man, Jaws hasn't posted anything all day. We need to put something out. Just give them some material. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. <laughs> all right um check out the community posts i made two community posts today one is about a new benefit for the patreon and youtube memberships and another one is a question i'm looking for talent i'm looking to for people to for writers and i'm looking for people to collab with me on the flying fluffy football channel in the way that Stu does on the hockey so check out the community tab um couple of things there if you're interested the email is flying fluffy hockey at gmail.com appreciate all the support and uh i'm gonna have a video out tomorrow i'm sure and then we've got one hour before the game we'll have the live stream one hour before game two still giving away to florida panthers merchandise during the live streams and then the recap after and uh everybody enjoy their night all right this was good thanks bud for giving me something to do i appreciate it all right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow.